All right, guys, I am back with Lorna's kit, um, and I believe it is called A Winter's Tale. Um, yep, A Winter's Tale. And so um, I've backed all of these with one of my cabbage dye papers just on like photocopied. Um, so I'm gonna show you the pages and then I'll show you the ephemera, but you're gonna have to use your imagination of how they all come on the kit, like on a page, because I've already cut some of it apart. So isn't this gorgeous? I love the blues. Oh, I absolutely love these. Um, and we're gonna use one of my favorite paper or paper folds for this. And we're gonna use it as like a page insert. Isn't this gorgeous? It's like blue black. Oh, it's pretty. I love the owls. Oh, yeah. Cute little fox, too. This is one of my favorite in the kit. It's got little white foxes and, um, right? Yeah, I believe those are white foxes. And then some owls. Isn't that just beautiful? And I've been waiting to use it. I got one of her stamps a couple months ago that has a deer on it. So we'll do that on a couple of, of them. Isn't that beautiful? I love this little fox. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is one of my favorites. It's got little bunnies all over it. And here are some of the um, cleaner backgrounds here. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so then um, this is like all the ephemera. There's all kinds of cool little ones, little side pockets, um, tags, journaling cards. Like I said, I, um, I'm going to have to just, you'll have to use your imagination a little bit on some of these because um, it's actually New Year's Eve. Some of the pockets in here, which we'll use some of those. I think we're gonna, like I said, do a couple of page inserts with those and then little tiny cards and then some postcard pieces, little stamp size, some circles, some ovals, some envelopes come with this kit. Yeah, the kit is just humongous. There's some file folders with the kits. Um, there's some words and some sayings. And yeah, like large belly band type cards here and yeah little tiny tags like I said this kit is ginormous um, some more words some labels yeah absolutely stunning it's a beautiful giant kit some more pockets, which like I said, I have a project for those, but I'm gonna have to back those, I think. Jars, more words, more cards, and these are the ones I haven't cut out yet, these tags, and then these um, free, I was gonna say free floating, um, fussy cuts, but they're just, they're just fussy cuts, not free floating, obviously. Yeah. So when I come back, it'll be like the first video in this, like this whole thing will be like the first video. Um, but I just wanted to show you that we're going to be painting some of this. Um, I have a rough idea of what I'm going to do, but I still don't have all of it. Um, so before I come back, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to take this fly sheet out here and I'm going to paint it completely white. Um, it'll take several coats. So yeah, I'm going to do that off camera, but when we come back, I'll have my gesso and some of my inks out and, um, I'm going to show you what you can do with some of your inks. All right, guys, I will talk to you in a minute. Bye. Okay, guys, it's been a few more days and this is good to dry now. Oh my goodness. Um, so
So, anywho, I'm going to do something I haven't done before with you guys as far as like using um, the, uh, like a piece from the kit along with this technique I'm going to show you. Normally I've painted and then put this on top, but I'm hoping that I can like bury it a little bit, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm probably not right away, but we're just going to see how, how quickly I can, um, mess it up, you know, cause I don't really want it warped either. So I'm going to smooth it out pretty good. So I used my Fabri-Tac, as you guys saw that. So I want him on the cover. I don't know that it's a him, but I don't know. Okay. Let's see. This is where the fun begins, right? Just being able to kind of like experiment. And I'm just rubbing this to where the glue comes off so that, cause I'm not sure if regular glue or like, um, or if like paint and, and this stuff like actually sticks together or, Am I jiggling you? I hope not. That was the whole purpose of hooking it up the way I did. So that I wouldn't jostle you guys anymore. Okay. Not too bad. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> take a nail file. I'm just gonna lightly go over the edges to smooth um, the edge of the paper down a little bit and to get off any excess <clears throat> glue that might be hanging around. Because what I wanna try to do is blend these down together so that we can paint around this. And this will probably have to happen in two videos because um, I can't remember how long that other one was. Okay, so for this next part, what you're gonna need is um, a whole handful of things. Um, we're gonna need like cheap glue, like Elmer's school glue. Um, when I say Elmer's school glue, I mean like literally school glue. It, um, a cheap glue, um, it, in my opinion, it works best with the cheaper glues. You're gonna need a base color. Oh, and you know what? Talk amongst yourselves for a second because I gotta go get my other paintbrush, hold on. I just didn't want to start and stop again. I need a paintbrush for your glue and a paintbrush for paint. And um, like I said, I'm not sure how much of this will actually end up being filmed, but I'm gonna work on it. And then you need a fan. Like I'm using my little Honeywell fan. The fan is literally the part that's going to make it the best. Okay. So I'm going to 
kind of come over on top of that. And it's important that you let your, um, like you get enough glue on, the thicker the glue, the more cracks you're gonna get in it. a really long time. Okay, now the next part's really important too. It's one, one stroke. Like you don't wanna be going over it like a ton of times. So it's one stroke down, stroke down, reload your paintbrush. because you want your paint to stay on top of the glue. If you keep messing with it, then it's gonna mess with your layers. And I'm not really worried about filling in the spots because we're, like I said, we're doing layers. Now let's watch the magic happen. And it's gonna get a little bit louder, so you might wanna turn your speaker or your volume down a minute, but. Sometimes I can get really good cracking on camera and sometimes I don't, but this'll help for you guys to see. fan's really dusty too. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't have quite enough glue on some of this. That's all right. It's our first layer. It's starting to a little bit. Not as much as I would have liked, but that's okay. We'll get it in this next coat. going to worry about um, cleaning out that brush necessarily. We'll take a lot of it out, but not all of it. So I'm going to go with this lighter blue here. And this time we're going to go really thick with the glue. And I'm not going to go all over it. I'm just going to be putting in um, spotty color.
but it's not gonna look pretty the first couple of layers you do. I mean, it might. You might be one of those lucky ones that can get, can get it right the first time. Okay. disappointed that this doesn't crack up the way I like it. That'll be like one of the first times ever that I wouldn't be able to get all the cracking that I want. So weird. Yeah, it's starting to crack up a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of see it in here. What we're kind of going for is just like almost like a crack aged, but also um, it's also going to kind of be timberish for like um, like woods kind of. I don't think I've ever done with one with blues like this before. Blues and whites and grays. It's so weird, huh? I don't know, sometimes you can get it going really good and then other times you kind of work with it. start seeing the cracking coming up through here and there's going to be a big crack here so more glue means more cracking like or bigger cracks too <clears throat> like you can tell right here that's going to be a really big crack and then where the glue starts to thin out like down here where it's thinner is where you're going to have the smaller cracking Okay, so I think that is all of this portion I'm going to film of the cover because um, I think, I mean obviously I'm going to let the let it dry some more, but I'll hold this up closer to where you can kind of see the cracking, but that's how I get that to do that is um, uh, cheap school glue and paint. So and then um, to get the desired amount of cracking, like I said, um, the thicker the glue the more cracks you're gonna get. So, okay guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys are doing well today and we'll just talk to you soon, bye.